In this video, we are going to subtract decimals. We're going to subtract 92 and 5 tenths from 146 and 9 tenths. We're going to line our numbers up just like we would if we were adding decimals vertically. So we won't want one number on top of the other. So 146 is going to go on the top and 92.5 is going to go on the bottom. Now we are going to make sure that we line up our decimals. So we want our decimals vertically right on top of one another. So it's just like buttons on a shirt again. This way it will make it a lot easier for us to subtract properly. To begin with, we're going to subtract 5 from 9, so 9 minus 5 is 4. Then we are going to make sure that we continue on with our carrying our decimals down. So we have one decimal on top of the other and we need to add in that final decimal into our answer so that we've got three decimals or three buttons right in a row, just like you would on a shirt. Next we are going to subtract 2 from 6, so we get 4. And for the final part of this problem, we need to subtract 9 from 14, which will give us 5. The answer to this problem is 54 and 4 tenths, or 54.4. For this problem, we are going to practice subtracting decimals while borrowing. So we're going to need to borrow to solve this problem. We are going to subtract 39 and 81 hundredths from 76 and 38 hundredths. To begin with, we are going to write out our problem vertically. So one number is on top of the other. In this case, 76 goes on top and 39 and 81 hundredths goes on the bottom because it is being subtracted from 76. To start this problem out, we are going to subtract 1 from 8, so 8 minus 1 is 7. Then we're going to move to the left where we try and subtract 8 from 3. We cannot do that in this problem, so we need to borrow from the 6, which is next to the 3. The 6 then turns into a 5, and the 3 will turn into a 13. 13 minus 8, we will get 5. From here we need to carry our decimals on down just like we've been doing in the past. And Again, we want three decimals right on top of one another just like buttons on a shirt would be. To continue with this problem we need to subtract 9 from 5. Again, we cannot do this without borrowing. So we are going to borrow from the 7, turn it into a 6, and then we are going to turn our 5 into a 15. We are going to subtract 9 from 15, 15 minus 9 is 6. To finish off this problem, we simply subtract 3 from 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. The solution to this problem is 36 and 57 hundredths. Pay special close attention to how all the decimals are lined up on top of one another. 